Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a KV-2 Tier 6 Soviet heavy tank. It's located on the south spawn of Ruinburg Encounter and it's under the command of Arthur Stahl. Now if you're wondering why the coronavirus quarantine tank looks slightly dull in colour, well that's because Arthur Stahl's actually got a skin of his own or a camouflage of his own that actually changes the sh the coloration on the coronavirus one. So it looks a bit dull, but uh, yes, you can achieve a copy of the coronavirus quarantine KV2 if you download the skin from the site mentioned in the description. Well, this tank has 152 millimeter howitzer as its main armament, and it's capable of doing 910 alpha with HE rounds and penetrates 86 millimeters of armor and it's got a burst radius of 3.66 meters. Well, there's nothing to shoot at on that corner. Now the KV-2 is basically a KV-1 with a bigger gun. Oh, that poor M5 Stuart. He just drove right into a shell and has vaporized. He's gone back to the garage scratching his head saying, hmm, that was a bit of brief. Okay, there's some enemy tanks just across the way there. Reload time is 21 seconds. Yeah, there's a, more than a few enemy tanks across that road. He's waiting for them to come around the corner. That is an easy eight, and oh, he just find an HE round of this for 25 hit points. Unfortunately, Arthur Stall missed his shot with that one, but now he's aiming at a Panzer T-25. Now he's got a 75mm gun, but he wasn't able to penetrate us. And he took that round, oh he's on fire, and he burns up. So that's his uh, second kill of the game, after the Stuart. Just going to wait a second for the reload to go through. Okay, some of them come around the corner. Oh, and he's going to have a go at that T-28. And that tank has gone back to the garage as well. So three kills now. I'm not sure if he's noticed, but there's an OI on the street around the corner. And it looks like he's headed down behind Arthur Stall. Okay, M4. He's back in the garage. That's four kills. Yep, that OI is coming up behind him, so he needs to deal with that. I'm sure he can see that on his minimap. He might have to back up. T6 medium pulled back immediately. He saw the KV-2's barrel pointing in his direction. And you can see the OI now. Okay, now he is backing up now to deal with that threat. So there's quite a serious threat actually, because the OI could derp him as well. So he's just going to poke his head around the corner, see if he can get around into the guy. Normally you line up the aim. Oh, the OI's just fired, so he's got a night free amount of time. Puts 253 hit points of damage into the OI, and the Largo and the M4A1 want to do the same. But... The OI is pulled back around the corner to avoid any further shots. Just poked his head around for a second, but the moment he comes around again, he's probably loaded and ready to shoot. Here he comes. Get ready, and took a round for 226 that time. Now the enemy in the other corner are actually getting a bit bolder. Looks like one of their T1 heavies came around the corner and there's a T6 medium. Oh, T1 heavy. No, didn't get a shot in time, but the T1 heavy did not penetrate with his 76 millimeter gun. The OI's come back again. He's obviously overconfident because if he comes around that corner, he's going to take 
around right through the side. And there he goes. Killed by the KV-1 on our team. And this prompted the enemy team to come around the other side. And their easy 8s making the first attack. Oh, he just got wiped out by our A-20. Okay. Can we get shots on the others? No, they all pull away before Arthur Stall arrives on this corner. The skin on that uh, Easy 8, by the way, that's another of Rusty's creations. Sir Rusty, he create, created the skin for the coronavirus KV-2. And that actually is an authentic copy of an Easy 8 skin from Korea. And he derps the Panzer 3J out of existence. Takes one round from the T1 Heavy. He's trying to back up to get into cover and takes another round into the tracks. Ah, ooh, another hit. T1 Heavy's risking getting derped if he does another one. Oh, and we just took a round, a cheeky round, up the rear from an AMX ELC somewhere off behind us. And he's trying to see if he can get a shot on that Strodny Vid 39. No joy there. T1 Heavy, I think, is going to be the next target. Our A20's around the corner, trying to kill the T1 Heavy. No, he's actually around the other side of that church. And... Oh, no, this is interesting. Arthur Stall's gone past the T1 and derps him in the rear to get the engine base so he can get him a maximum damage and takes him out of the game. So that's his top gun. And this T1, T6 Heavy is coming down and well, he's low on hit points and a ram will do all he needs to do there. So seven kills now. Only one more to get a Radley Waters. And there's only three enemy tanks left. IKV-103, the ELC AMX and the Strodny Viz-39. I'm not sure why he's backing up here. I think he's concerned about that AMX CLC pulling forward. Basically, they ought to cap actually now to force the enemy to come to them. Yeah, it looks like the ELC's been frightened off by the A20 and the M4A1. And there's the IKV! And he's coming this way, so he pulls back into cover quickly. Lines up a shot, fires, but it doesn't go straight and true. As Jingles would say, the cold dead hand of Stalin reaching up on the ground and firing the round or pushing the round towards the target. It didn't happen on that occasion. Can he get the shot on that IKV? No, because the KV-1 takes it. So there's absolutely no chance now he can get a bulls medal. But he might still be able to get the Radleys. The Strodny Viz 39 is down at the other end of that road. So if he drives over to this corner, he might be able to get a shot. If he leaves it, that KV-1 will take the kill instead. He's just driving over to the edge. KV-1's looking down the other end of the road. With a dirt round, he should be able to take that Strodny Viz-39 out. And unfortunately, the ELC has actually just killed our M4A1, which means now it's two against two. And it looks like the Strodny Viz-39 just came around the corner briefly. Strodny means medium tank in check. Oh, and he got him! And that's a Radley's... The guy came around the corner and, well, he wasn't fully dialed in, but he did fire and he went straight and he got a nice kill. So that means there's only one enemy left. It's the ELC. And when he was last seen, he was on the south end of the map. So I think he's probably going to come from the right. Mind you, the ELC will probably know that as well, in which case he might think about going all the way around and coming up from behind. Arthur Stall. Let's hope the KV-1 sits alongside Arthur Stall to try and prevent 
the ELC from getting any damage on him. He is... He has been capping the longest. Arthurstall's looking in the direction he thinks the ELC is going to appear from, whilst the KV-1 looks behind him, just in case he comes from the other way. I think he's going to come from that direction. I'm pretty sure he was in that direction to start with. He ran away, and I think he'll try and come back, because he can sneakily poke his head around the corner and try and shoot. There he is! And that's it! He's won, his ra he's won the game. He got his Radleys with the last kill, but that one makes it nine, and he wins the game. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker for Arthur Stall in the KB2. He managed to get a hand of God for surviving the battle, having received damage from four different enemy tanks, a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 21 in that one. He got an arsonist. He set fire to the Panzer T25, watched him burn to death. A duelist for taking out two tanks who damaged him, and a fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle. He also picked up an epic medal. He got a Radley Walters medal for killing at least eight enemy tanks. He got nine, just one short of the Pools medal. A high, uh, Steel Wall for blocking the most damage during the game. A high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game. And a top gun for getting at least six kills. Let's have a look at team scores. Well, we can see that he did get the highest damage in the game. That one, 4,193 hit points of damage. Next highest score was the ELC AMX with 2,195. And after that, the IKV with 1,797. When it came to kills, it was Alpha Stall again. He's got the tops with nine. Five kills for the ELC, five kills for the IKV 103. And when it came to base XP, yes, he's got the top in all three columns. 1,621 for Alpha Stall. 949 for the KV-1 and 603 for the ELC on the enemy team. He fired 13 rounds, got 11 direct hits and 5 penetrations. 6 splash, damage of 4,193 hit points, of which 218 were at more than 300 metres. He received 13 hits from the enemy, 5 of them were penetrations, 7 non-penetrations and 1 hit by way of splash damage. 630 hit points of damage blocked by armour. 10 enemy vehicles damaged, 9 killed, and 38 hit points of damage assistance, plus 70 cap points whilst he was capping. On a free to play account, he earned 41,002 credits, and after repair, ammunition, resupply, and consumables took away 23,661 credits. He received 1,621 base XP, and there was no multipliers on this occasion, so that's all the experience points he took away. But it was a good result for Arthur Stall. Just one short. If only he got the kill on that IKV, then he would have actually had a pools medal. But the KV-1 wanted to get the kill, poked his head around the corner and took it and denied Arthur the possibility of getting a pools. But it was a good game all the same. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel and stay home, stay safe and derp coronavirus. Thanks for watching.